Hallo, hallo und herzlich willkommen. In es ist wieder Pirates Cove Zeit und wir sind in unserem neuen Studio und alles ist neu. Die Technik ist neu, als hätten wir sie nie benutzt. Deswegen auch fünf Minuten Delay. Wir entschuldigen uns dafür, aber wir hoffen, ihr hört und seht uns. Und ich probiere hier gerade noch mich mit dem Chat zu connecten und ähm, da kommt schon das erste Abo rein. Vielen, vielen Dank. Ich weiß gerade nicht, wer es ist, weil ich habe gerade keinen Chat da, aber wir finden es gleich raus. Also danke, danke für den Support. Ja, wir haben heute ganz viel vor mit euch und wir sind, ähm, ja, glücklicherweise wieder mal zu dritt. We have a guest tonight. On my left side, Kaysen Martin. Welcome, Kaysen. Thank you. Thank you, guys. It's great to be on. I'm excited. So, Kaysen, we're going to switch between English and German. Every time we speak German, it's, um, we make fun of you. And Perfect. And when we speak English, then, you know, it's serious. That's good. Okay. That's good. <laughs> You're probably used to it by now. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's, that's what the guys do on the team anyways, yeah. No, no. not at all. We're not going to make fun of our new quarterback for the Austrian football league, Kaysen Martin. Great to have you here. Great. Yes, sir. Good to be here. Yeah. And always and forever... On my other left side. Um, <laughs> far left. On my far left. Max, nice to have you again. Nice to be here again. Thanks for having me. Um, and also nice that you are back, Paul. I mean, um, it, there was there was rumors that you were going to go to a major uh, broadcasting um, competitor. But uh, I'm really glad that we could keep you here. Yeah. Um, Ravens TV asked me, but I... I <laughs> Um, is there Ravens TV actually? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Neither. <laughs> Maybe Rangers TV. Um, okay. So, um, Uncle Charlie, Paul joins the galaxy. No, never. Um, is everybody hearing us and, and sees us correctly? Please give us a thumb up. I have now the chat on my phone and I'm trying to also <coughs> put it on my iPad. Um, yeah, a lot happened since we last um, were online with the Super Bowl. Should we talk about the Super Bowl? Mm, I, gu I guess pretty much everything that needs to be said about it was already discussed quite yeah. often. And it's <laughs> yeah. a month ago, over a month yeah. ago. <laughs> yeah. so, uh, who won it? Was it the team in red? Yeah, it was the, the McDonald's team. <laughs> yeah. And I actually shaved my, my beard because... Ah, you lost the bet? Yeah, I lost the bet, so I had to shave my beard. And unfortunately, no one of you got to see my clean-shaven baby face. Um, yeah, maybe next year. He Max, <laughs> Max looked awesome. No, I looked awful. Yeah. Should we? You sent me a picture, right? Should we show it? Uh, you you can if you want to. I mean, no, we don't. It's nothing. So, um, yeah. First question of the day. Always. Um, To our guest first, how was your day? How are you feeling? How is your you know, behavior? Hey, hey you. Yes, exactly you. Did you already subscribe to our YouTube channel? If not, do it now down there and activate the bell so you will never miss Raiders content again. Thank you for your support. And now you can continue watching. The day was good. I had a, had a great day today. Uh, woke up and... Watch some, watch some film and uh, went and lifted, ate some good lunch. Actually got in a sauna for the first time today. Oh, Not the nice. first time in my life, but the first time in Austria, in Europe. So that was a surprise. Uh, you know. Was it any different to the States? Yeah, a little bit. What was it? In the People States. were naked? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> were not prepared for that? I, I, I was mentally prepared for <laughs> okay. it going in, but nothing can prepare you physically for what you see in there. It's yeah, like, true. It's like the Wild West. No, yeah. I'm kidding. It was, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was fine. It scars you for life. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It depends, But you get right? used to it. Yeah, no. It, it depends was... what you're going to see in there. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it does, but... but uh. So yeah, that was that was fun. But other than that, you know, after that we, I uh, came came over here to the office, met with coach, watched some uh, tape of this the scrimmage this past weekend, and uh, got some things fixed and um, sharpened up some small details. And uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a really good day. Now I'm doing this. So great, it's fun. Max, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. I haven't seen any naked people today uh, so far. <laughs> Not yourself. You didn't watch it in the mirror and told yourself this morning, this is going to be the best day no, of I'm... my life. I'm the greatest person. <laughs> no, my eyes were still closed. Like, <laughs> you had were... to get up early. So. <laughs> you no, were scared? I... Like, no, <laughs> no. I don't want to see that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saving on energy costs right now. So that's the reason. Nice. No, I'm good. I had a great day. I uh, went to work. 
and um, afterwards I grabbed like dinner right now and now I'm here and I'm kind of nervous because we haven't done this in a yeah. while. And so it's... Paul, I think you might probably feel the same way, huh? Yeah. And, and it, it was like, again, you know, we always tell ourselves next week it's going to be better with preparation and technique stuff, but it's always, you know, Ricardo is at the moment uh, fixing something at the cameras. So <laughs> this is, it never changed. And it, it's like our motto, never change. Yeah. A, Ch a change meaning. is the only constant. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm. Um, no, but I was excited um, about today and I was excited about our new uh, studio and it's going to change from week to week because... Uh, I ordered the soundboard because we, we were asking people on the, on the show to, to give us um, subscriptions and money to buy a soundboard. Oh, nice. So hopefully next week only we're going to have the soundboard ready. Sweet. It's on the way. Then we're going to decorate here the, behind the wall because now you guys see something here there. This will, this will disappear hopefully pretty soon. And uh, we're going to have some decoration. And, and I already started. I mean, you see some, some rings. You see Birdie, you see the coaching Bible, like Max's all-time um, all favorite book. Yeah, toilet lecture for my... Yeah, and you see an awesome picture of myself up there. Yeah, nice. that's cool. An old NFL Europe helmet. So this is like a little decoration thing, which probably gets um, bigger and different sometimes. And maybe we also let the people decide on what they want to see behind us. Like, I mean, in a little bit. Maybe. Now I hand this tablet over to Ricardo because it's not working. So, um, I go back to the go back to the phone and for next week gonna we have gonna something different. <laughs> um so um yeah but a lot of happened in the office. Uh we we the old studio is completely different now. We we'll probably make a video soon about our new offices. We have a new big meeting room there. Uh where yeah, Kason was sitting half of the day and watched video with the coaches and yeah. other players, and we have yeah other offices remade and also this office now I'm with Ricardo in one room, and the studio is in one room and um, that's that's the new thing and I feel good if this was the question also Mark no no <laughs> it uh, was feel, the question I yeah. feel great um, I'm excited a lot of things happened in the last weeks <clears throat> a lot of great things and a lot of great things are ahead of us. Um, yeah, Balu is writing it. A big Raiders logo behind it, behind us, would be great. Yeah, maybe. We don't know how to do it the best way, but this is also all green screen it. Green screen. Oh, yeah, yeah, we have a green screen laying there. Yeah, we could try it. Yeah, maybe. but then, I mean, then we can't wear green anymore. Oh. Exactly. And what happens when <laughs> St. Patrick's Day and we have a show? Yeah. I then mean... we disappear. You know, then you only see beard. Yeah, just like uh, <laughs> just like John Cena last night at the Oscars. What happened? He presented an Oscar practically naked. Okay, he what? was just um, holding the envelope uh, before his man parts, mm -hmm. and uh, it was a, a play on the joke that you, can you can't see. see him. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's ah. crazy. Yeah, it was it was funny. I it's watched it this morning. Floating Oscar, yeah. I guess. Okay, great. <laughs> Great to hear. <laughs> so you almost did see a naked guy today. Yeah, right? that was close. Yeah. That was close. No, I didn't see a guy. Yeah. I was just seeing an. Oh, you see. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Um, yeah. So let's talk a little bit about um, the past four weeks. Um, what what happened in the club? We welcomed you, Casey Martin, as our new quarterback. We announced you, and we also announced um, another defensive import for our AFL team um, with Ken Greiner, um, safety, um, he's your teammate, um, we're going to invite him to the show probably relatively soon, but um, before we talk about you, let's talk about um, him, yeah, is he a nice guy? Yeah, he's awesome, he's, he's, a, he's a really good guy, I think, uh, I, I think he's a really good fit for the defense, um, he's a uh, he seems quiet whenever you first meet him, but then he comes out of his shell and he actually talks a lot. But but uh, yeah, he's a he's a funny guy, but he's also a really good ball player. Uh, he's he's made some really good plays uh, versus me. You know, we it's been just playing ourselves versus this past weekend. That was the only time we got to actually play yeah. someone else. But so I've been going up against him quite a bit. And <laughs> I can say we are. He are, picked you a couple of times, right? <laughs> yeah, he did. I wasn't going to tell that, but <laughs> he definitely did. No, I don't throw picks. <laughs> no, but he. Uh, He's a he's a really good ball player and a really good dude. He's got a really high football IQ, 
Um, and I think he's gonna he's, he's gonna really help uh, not only on the field but off the field with uh, with scheme and coaching guys up and stuff. I think it's I think it's a really good uh, really good fit. That's great to hear, and we're gonna invite him very soon, and then we're gonna meet him in person here. And we also have Jens Walter oh, as yeah. an European import. Besides all our Austrian talent, we added these three guys with you, Kaysen, Cannon, and Jens Walter. Jens, who played against us last year with the Munich Ravens, he was playing for them. He also played for the Leipzig Kings last year and the year before he played for the Stuttgart Search. So he's an experienced um, football player on high level and he brings this tight end power to our offensive game, which oh, yeah. was requested demanded i don't know how to say wanted by coach bauer because he loves the system yeah. playing playing with tight end so he was really like there were moments where he said okay i need a tight end how can, okay maybe not an american quarterback maybe a tight end so it was wow. it was in his in his mind to get the best one but i think with jens we have um the perfect fit right and, absolutely and um i think it's very interesting like to really see a, an offense basically created or like managed by coach Bauer yeah. with really tight end play in it um, because that's something we with the Raiders historically haven't done quite a lot so looking forward to seeing that yeah, yeah no it's uh he definitely brings a, a a really good element to the offense because like like any good tight end not only can he can he block and he's big and he can move people on the interior Uh, he's fast enough to stretch the field vertically and he's got really good hands. I mean, just this weekend, I threw him a corner. Uh, it was pretty high ball. I thought I threw it out the back of, of the end zone and he elevates and catches it with one hand and comes down and we score a touchdown. And, uh, it's just, it's, it's, it's really cool to see him in, in game situations where he's actually getting to go live and getting to catch the, catch the balls and stuff. But definitely, like you said, uh, coach, coach, coach Bauer building the offense, uh, to be a really, um, Uh, tight end personnel. I think it's going to be really neat uh, because, you know, it's hard to, it's hard, it's definitely hard to stop whenever you have a tight end that can do both. It's not mm -hmm. just, oh, we're going to run the ball. It's like, no, you have to watch out too because the guys get really good hands. <laughs> so I'm really excited for it. And Jens is a big guy. Yes. Yeah. He's a big old guy. He's like a giant. His yeah. hands are like sausages <laughs> on his fingers. <laughs> yeah. In German, we say they are like Klodeckel. Yeah. A Klodeckel is the top of a toilet the the, the thing oh you, what is the english word for it uh, the lid the lid i yeah. don't know do, yeah. do we really say that hände hände wie klodeckel i haven't heard that Never. maybe we say that in german nee, and not in austria yeah. because i'm german okay. yeah, that's that's yeah. makes us huge austria. difference yeah. yeah you gotta learn about that <laughs> oh i've i've learned i've learned already <laughs> yeah. even even with jens's dialect you know he's from yeah, yeah jens is also uh, special. west <laughs> west germany and he's got this like this cadence of his just the rhythm of it it goes up and down it's and it's different because i don't know german but i can tell that he's speaks completely different, different from the it. from the people here and yeah. the guys are always smiling cracking up not laughing at him or nothing but just uh <laughs> it's, it's just a fun yeah. he's just a funny guy too, absolutely so. absolutely and he brings the experience which is great because we uh, are still a young guy a young team max knows it <clears throat> from the last years he coached yeah. the afl team as a defensive line coach uh we got a lot of talent from the uh, under 18 coming up like mm -hmm. from our youth program so it's young and that's why it's great to have like experienced football players on the team and um we're going to present the team a little bit now through the week through the game week we're also going to present the um coaching staff a little bit more down the road so maybe we don't talk so much about it today and um yeah let's wait for for the announcements yeah besides all the afl announcements and the preparation camps and everything uh We had a lot of uh, new personnel on the ELF side, and let's Max, let's quickly let us go through it. After the Super Bowl, we announced Sandro Ecker, new kicker who came to the tryout and and made it. Actually, you, we didn't announce you, him. No, afterwards. you announced him at the Super Bowl party. So everybody <laughs> who watched the Super Bowl party show uh, saw our new kicker. Which it wasn't my fault, though. It was uh, Adrian Platzko's fault. fault. Yeah, he was. <laughs> yeah, he, he was. <laughs> he was <laughs> dropping the bomb. Yeah. That's But, crazy. Spilling well, the beans is, is what we say on that one. Yeah. Spill the beans, man. <laughs> it means that she let it. Yeah. yeah too early. And then we were, for, we were, yeah, not forced. It was supposed to announce him relatively soon, but then he was the guy right after the show. Yeah, yeah. but like, <laughs> like there's one continuity error. I mean, you had him perform stuff on stage 
as part yeah. of the ELF team. So no, it was a everybody, surprise. Everybody who was at the Super Bowl party or watched the Super Bowl show on Twitch. Um, it was a teaser. It was a teaser. Yeah. yeah. So, but Sandro Ecker is coming from soccer. Um, is a is an absolutely workhorse. Is on the field almost every day. Um, works a lot with our um, GM football Ulf Stoiber, and is going to be our one of our kickers for the for the ELF team. And yeah, welcome to the club. Then uh, we have Vincent Müller. Max Vincent Müller. What is Vincent Müller for the Raiders? An absolute beast. Now he's 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 um, super important for the Raiders. Actually, everybody who has seen him play um, knows that um, he's he's a backfield general. He knows the game like yeah. I mean, we do have a lot of smart players in our backfield, but I think he's one of the smartest. Also, I mean, he's uh, Doctor Sexy. I've he's heard. A doctor. He's, yeah, he's going yeah. to med school. <laughs> he finished med school, actually. So wow. he can basically provide you the whole package. He can coach you on the field. He can hit. <laughs> he can cover. He can uh, basically you save your shoulder back in. He and... can save your life. So uh, he's the whole package. <laughs> and it's it's really cool to have him back. Great. Awesome. Um, then we had some add ons on the coaching side with Charlie Eager for the offensive line. And with Zach Talent for the skills. Um, two coaches who never coached in, in Europe before. Really interesting uh, guys. I already was in contact with them. Very, yeah, I mean, you know US coaches like they are really, I think they, they're going to lift the grind here. They're mm -hmm. both coming from small colleges, but uh, Coach Eager was also in the NFL in Division One, So they know what what's coming. Or, yeah, they, they know what's coming. And I think they... <laughs> going to coach our guys uh, up and uh, yeah, going to be great to see them all here very soon. And we had Günther Prinz, which is a great name, I think. Prinz, his family name. Um, <laughs> it's coming from Darmstadt and Sander as an offensive lineman, a big guy, and is going to help us on the offensive line, which is super important. Then we also have to talk about uh, two more guys. Uh, one is Sandro Platzkoma is leaving us to Frankfurt. Sandro, a homemade product of the Raiders, was in the NFL three years with the Giants. Now is going to Frankfurt to continue his medicine studies. He going to work in the hospital there for his KPJ, Klinisch Praktisches Jahr. His um, mandatory clinical year to do to advance to the next step of exactly. his studies and he gonna use that time he wants to do that in <clears throat> frankfurt um and he uses that time also to continue playing football in frankfurt against the galaxy and uh, just one thing sandro black looks better on you than purple but anyway um good luck and stay yeah. healthy stay and healthy, have absolutely. a hell of a season just don't beat us Exactly. No, we don't, because Frankfurt is not going to the playoffs. So, <laughs> oh, shots fired. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. And if so, uh, we're probably not going to play them. Yeah. Because we're on the other side. Oh, ah. Sandro <laughs> knows my jokes. Still love you, Sandro. Um, <laughs> and then um, we have a quarterback. The ELF has a quarterback, the Angelo Fulford. Um, do you saw him playing? Did you did you saw his highlights? Maybe did I you did, watch them? I did watch his highlight tape, uh, and that guy looks like an absolute playmaker. I mean, he's not only touching every part of the field, throwing it, but with his legs, he's able to create time and create space and extend plays. And uh, I think it's going to be a really impressive offense with that guy pulling the trigger. I mean, it's uh, I'm really excited to see what he can do. Also. Um, he's played with uh, a couple of my previous uh, teammates. I had some guys that played on the uh, on the on the Vipers whenever he was there, and I reached out to them. Like, oh, hey, okay. is this, is this yeah. guy pretty good? They're like, yeah, that guy can ball. So I'm like, sweet, that's really good. And then he was also with the I think he was with the Canadian team, the BC Lions. Lions. And my uh, I had a quarterback coach during COVID. Uh, when I was at North Texas, uh, COVID happened, and the Canadian season got cut short. Mm -hmm. And the quarterback for the BC Lions, Dane Evans, was my uh, assistant quarterback coach. Oh, nice. he, he came down and kind of interned with us. And I'm going to reach out to him and uh, ask him about him, too, because they were, you know, in the same room. So I'm going to get to see. Because D'Angelo was the third quarterback or something. Yeah, I think that, so. Yeah, I think so. At that team at that time. Absolutely. So pretty, yeah, no, pretty it's, cool to have connections. And he like played that. for the Raiders before. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was watching it when his yeah. tape first came out. I was like. 
do we have like a lower purple team? I'm like, I'm like and then, then, yeah. I was, then I was watching the tape. I was like, like this isn't a low team. This guy's freaking good, man. I'm like, this is awesome. But and and, then I figured out. It was... And no, and um, it's it's going to be great. And um, it's cool that, I mean, you're going to work with him, right? You're going to yeah, yeah. practice with him. Uh, it, that's our luxury, what we have, right? We have the AFL team. We have the ELF team. Then, and and uh, you guys going to meet and, and be together. And that's, that's great. That's great. Absolutely. Um, yeah, and then we have Lukas Kalkofer, a defensive back we announced today, also coming from Amstetten, um, going to give us depth on the defensive backfield, and uh, yeah, also Lukas, welcome. I think you forgot one person, like quality assurance. Ah, Quang. Yeah. Quang, we forgot Quang. Quang is also coming from the ELF. He was coaching or yeah coaching actually and doing quality control for the Leipzig Kings last year and now is joining us and he's coming from Radebeul which is a suburb of Dresden so you know now because I'm from Dresden Germany and uh, yeah, Quang started coaching and working f football in Radebeul and that's that's great to have somebody here for from home then you can fall back into your old accent no <laughs> i will not do that that's for that i'm too long here and i never you know i never really spoke six sex, sexy and so saxonian whatever you call it <laughs> definitely not, definitely not sexy <laughs> never spoke sexy huh um thank you to um us sunny and also balu for the subscriptions thank you thank you thank you if you guys have questions please uh, write them in the chat because now we're gonna Switch over to you and your football career and your life and, and to the AFL. Nice. Um, Kaysen, where are you coming from? So most recently, I was at a Division II university in Ohio called Tiffin University. And uh, I played there for just one season. Uh, that was not the question, where are you coming from? Where are you raised and born? Oh, my bad. Oh, no come problem. From, like, where did you <laughs> most recently come from? Where I grew up, uh, so I I grew up south of Houston, Texas, uh, a town called Manville. It used to be a small town, but I went back recently, and we have a really big supermarket right in the middle of town. It's like all these houses. I'm like, dude, this is crazy. Like, this is a big town now. So the so, supermarket is the center of the town. Well, yeah, because it, it's a specific one. I don't know. It, it's, it's Walmart. It's called a an HEB, okay. and in 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 Texas, if you have an HEB, it's like it's like the greatest thing ever because it's just got everything is so good. It's like a I don't know. I feel like Billa Plus is one of the coolest ones that I've seen here. So it's kind of. I, <laughs> but, I think a U.S. mall is. You will not find something similar here. In, yeah, in for sure. Or yeah. not in Innsbruck, maybe. For sure. But you're from Texas, so you're from the state of football. Yes, yes, sir. This is what te football in Texas is. Is the religion, right? It really is. Uh, so. Actually, growing up, my, my dad was my head high school football coach. Uh, for, so for my whole life, my dad was a head high school football coach, and he bounced around from school to school, building up his resume, and he got to uh, start the school. Uh, he was the first coach at the school that I got to go to. So we lived in Manville, which is the town that I was mm -hmm. talking about, for 13 and a half years. Uh, and so he started the school, and the program, the football program was really good. I mean, they, they started calling us Manville University because we had – so much division one talent coming out of the high school. Um, and it was just a really good spot. You know, you're just south of Houston. So you're pulling from all these different subdivisions. And it was just, it was, it was, it was really cool to grow up in the area that was at. Uh, so at young age already high quality football. Yes. Yeah. The, the cool thing was, is my, my dad was my uh, flag football coach uh, when I was really little and we were running the same offense that our high school was running. <laughs> okay. So, you know, it's similar to the programs here where it's So like, he took the series? The, oh, the, the, yeah. The, the flag football from five years old. It was like a, yeah, it was like, you know, he's cussing me out now. <laughs> he, would, he, would, he would never do that. I'm, I'm just kidding. But, uh, but yeah, it was, it was definitely a, a high level of flag football back then. <laughs> Correct. But, yeah. So, uh, grew up, you know, as my with my dad as a as as a coach, and uh, obviously he wasn't my coach until I got to uh, my my junior of high school is whenever I finally got on uh, to the varsity football team because my freshman and, and sophomore year, the two quarterbacks that were ahead of me, uh, one of them ended up going to Miami. Uh, his, his name was Derek King, and now he's uh, he's a quarterback in the XFL somewhere. And uh, and then the other guy was Kyle Trask. He was that guy's backup, and now he plays. Uh, he was 
um, Baker Mayfield's backup last oh, year cool. uh, for the uh, Buccaneers. So those are the two guys' shoes that I was filling, and uh, it's pretty cool because now I'm over here playing, still still playing ball too. So it's a uh, it's definitely a it was a really cool place to come from and get to learn from a lot of really really successful people. <clears throat> so after high school and after being coached by your dad, and is your dad a quarterback too, or did he play quarterback too? Or is My dad was a he was more of just a athlete. He was a tight end, running back, fullback, linebacker. He went to the university, uh, uh, UTEP is what it's called. Mm -hmm. yep. um, so University of Texas at El Paso. And my mom played volleyball there. And so you're coming from an athlete family. Yes. Yeah. yeah my whole family actually uh, played played sports. So my my oldest brother, uh, he's on, he plays offensive line. He's a tackle or a guard, whatever they want to put him at. Uh, for the St. Louis Battlehawks. He just got picked up by the USFL team. I think that's what they're calling it now. The Great. U, the, what, what's the new XFL? Is it? They, US, they like merged. I think it's, it's USFL. Or US, USFL, I think. I think, whatever it is. So he's... The new league. The, the new league, yeah. The merged league from yeah. XFL and UFL. I think it's the UCFL. Yeah, something like that. Or UFL. UAFL. United oh, American ever. Football League. I don't know. It's a football I don't know. league. But yeah, he's playing. It's, he's yeah. playing pro it's ball. A, it's, it's a big pro football league. league. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> oh, he, it's good that they merged because it didn't make it, sense. It, yeah, exactly. You want uh, and actually, they're the way that they. Uh, I didn't know this, but the way that they structure their their teams, everyone is based out of Arlington, Texas, mm. and then they all fly to their games. So my brother plays for St. Louis, but, but he lives, lives in, in Dallas. Arlington, yeah. It's the it's the coolest thing because you got one <laughs> massive set of you know, doctors and trainers, mm. and then one thing of uh, strength coaches. And it's like, it's a way to keep costs down. I just, I just thought it was really neat. I, yep. I didn't even know that. So yeah, my brother plays, plays, plays for them. And then last year he was with the Saints. The year before that, he was with the Cardinals. The year before that, he was with the uh, Chargers. So he's been uh, just trying to work his way in. Now, now I think he's got a really good shot to play, Great. play, play for those guys. My other brother started at, uh, he was a Mike linebacker for Texas State. Um, he started for them his last two years there. And before that, he was like a special teams dog. Like he was the guy that's just going to go hit people as hard as he can, you know. And then my sister was, uh, uh, she played division three volleyball and was, she was a setter and was really, really good at that too. So everyone in my family, you know, grew up being really competitive and always playing ball. So great. And after high school, you went to which college so from high school i actually graduated early and uh one semester early and i went to the to the university of north texas and i was there for four and a half years uh i never did get to start i was second string third string fourth string just bouncing back and forth just trying to trying to work and trying to work up uh the ranks i, I felt like every spring i was mm. i was right on the edge of winning the job and then by the wow. time fall fall came around it was i would lose favor somehow or it would just you know the other guy would just mm. have the tool set that the coaches were, were looking for more um but but yeah I, i got to learn a lot there i had a lot of different coaches i had a lot of coach turnover i had five offensive coordinators in four years oh wow so it like, didn't help right? yeah you know it's trying to uh trying to learn from all these different guys and all these different systems the bright side is is i got to take good tips from all those guys and uh build into uh you know the style that i play today and then uh after north texas i after that fourth year you know COVID happened and i got two two more years to play and i was like man i, sh I should probably hit the portal and see if there's somebody who uh who could really use me and the first team that offered me i committed because i just wanted to go somewhere mm. that believed in me I, i knew if they offered me then they really believed in me and that i would have favor and i could go there and hopefully win the job and that was at a school called eastern new mexico so it's in the middle of the desert and in <laughs> new mexico if you drive there from dallas it's like six and a half hours of nothing i'm talking just straight desert you hit a town called wichita falls for about five minutes you pass through that and, and it's then, like two and a half hours and it's lubbock texas which is where texas tech is desert i'm talking tumbleweeds like real deal texas like wild <laughs> wild west looking stuff and then you keep on driving an hour and a half past that into the desert and right as you cross the texas border so you're driving way west and then right on the other side of the border is eastern new mexico so it's basically in west texas Uh, well, Eastern uh, New Mexico, however you want I know, to say yeah, it. <laughs> yeah. I know, I can't, I can't say it with too much pride because I love Texas too. Is it like that one spot where like four states uh, oh, no, practically that's, uh, touch? It's, 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 it's down the panhandle just a little bit. But if I did go north for two hours, then we can get to, I think it was Colorado or something. 
anyways, but yeah, it was, it was close to those borders. So I, I played there for, I, w- I only lived there for six months. Uh, so I was, I got, just played your senior season. Yet. I got there for my first senior season. because I yeah. had that, I had that COVID year. Uh, so I got to play for, um, I got to play that, that season and, um, record wise, we didn't, we didn't perform what we, what we could have and what we wanted to. Uh, but my coach left, uh, and, and took a better job. And the new guy coming in was going to run the triple option. Well. <laughs> and I am not <laughs> that guy. And that is like the furthest thing from my tool set. So I had to hit the portal one more time. And I was like, man, I've got one year of eligibility. I have to get somewhere fast for spring ball. Yeah. And I ended up going all the way up to Ohio. And like I mentioned er- er- yeah. earlier, whenever I misunderstood the question, <laughs> uh, I came from this past season, yeah. uh, Tiffin, Ohio, where we had a really good season. We went, uh, we finished up, uh, I think we won 11 games and we lost the the, the, the second round of the playoffs. Um, but it was a, it and was you, a really and fun And you season. played. Yes. Yeah. And I played. So, that so was, it was a great last year of... It, It really was. It was U.S. A, college football. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It was What did a, you major in? So my I majored in media arts, so video editing, and uh, you can give this guy some tips. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, they were talking about uh, the Creative Cloud yeah, and all this yeah, stuff yeah. a minute ago, and I was about to go over there and help him out, but I didn't want to overstep. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, and then uh, and then my my master's is in uh, education administration, just in case I want to uh, go coach with my dad after mm-hmm. this because he's coaching high school ball he's got you know he could retire right now but he's gonna keep coaching until you know he, until you take over yeah well i don't know if i'll take over because man kids are kids are getting hard to coach nowadays kids are bad man. And, you know you never know what happens when quarterbacks are coming to europe it could happen that you make a career here and stay forever so yeah, yeah that's what for that's this what is, uh, hey, i tell you in in the raiders um i can tell you three quarterbacks Who came here and stayed here? Yeah. So Rush Bowers, yeah, he's, Coach Rush, he's my quarterback coach right now. Exactly. Then Kyle Callahan, who was the OC here <laughs> till last year, and uh, Sean Shelton. So they all wow. they all here, f- yeah, and well, they stayed. I can see why. I mean, it's every time that I wake up, you know, our out of our window is the is the N River with the with the Nordketa mm. behind it, and it's just like you get, you can't even see the top of the mountain whenever you're standing in the room. You have to walk up to it, and it's like. <laughs> Never in my life have I lived by mountains. My grandparents lived in New Mexico, so they were on like the tip of the Rocky Mountains, but they lived on it. So it, it was never that magnitude of From like, the well laid up, so. oh my gosh, it's it's almost overwhelming at, at, at some point. So <laughs> you're looking up and you're like, this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Anyways, it's, I can totally see not only why, you know, people come here to play, but why it's really hard to leave because mm-hmm. that plus the culture, plus the people here are just unbelievably nice. It's, it's just a, it's not a mystery why they stay, you know, it's pretty, pretty, so pretty you, clear. You like it and you enjoy love your time it. here. I love it. When, it is, great when did you arrive? Uh, it's been, I guess it was the 15th or something, February 15th. What is it? Is it March right now? We don't have water. Sorry, we can't drink. Yeah. <laughs> next next week. Yeah. So yeah, uh, been here almost just, a month. Yeah, I think yeah, three and a half weeks. A month. Almost a month. Yeah. So it's been. I actually came here uh, with my with my wife. Uh, so we're both um, living here, and it's been really cool just to kind of dive into the culture, and yeah. So we've been here for almost a month. Now. So you probably haven't even tried half of the culinary places. Yeah, not even close. There's so many restaurants. It's like every, every corner has a different, you know, different hole in the wall, different, <laughs> it, like all these different cuisines. It's, it's so neat being so close to all these different countries. Mm. Cause you got so much Italian food, so much, there's so much, any kind of food that you want. Um, except for Mexican food. There's not much Mexican mm, food out here. No, not really. <laughs> no, there's one. There's uh, one that does good Mark burritos, Blatt, yeah. yeah the, uh, you have to talk to Coach Magreiter. He, he knows machete. his wife. Machete, It, yeah. That's kind the of, burrito place. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. But um, <laughs> that's what uh, I heard. Philip's yeah. wife is is uh, from South America. So oh, she, sweet. She, she she knows probably some, some spots. I bet she here. can probably cook some stuff. Oh, too. probably, yes. <laughs> It's hard to find the spices, though. That's the... Maybe I'll go to Bella Plus. They have it. <laughs> Bella Plus, that's your place, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get a sponsor, you know? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> hey, if there's somebody from Bella Plus, why not sponsoring your case? Bella Plus logo can be up here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> why not? Um, Kaysen, when you played uh, college football, was there ever the idea to continuing? Because 
we know all the 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 odds of going pro in in the us it's yeah. very small right so we, yeah. we don't have to talk about it especially at, at quarterback it's such a uh, niche n no niche and also such a special position yeah, and the, definitely. the talent is there and it's hard to go to the league so have you ever thought about going to europe or continuing playing football or was it a surprise when you got contacted by coach bauer and the it was Raiders? it was a surprise i mean i i'm not uh growing like through my through my brother's career of trying to get to the nfl and watching him growing up with him being literally the most impressive athlete i've ever seen he's Six foot eight, three hundred and fifteen pounds, solid, solid muscle. Like started at left tackle at Texas A and M. Like the prototype, that guy's gonna make mm -hmm. it. And just to like be on the cusp of every practice squad and like the cut days coming, I'm like, all right, like I'm not, I'm not dumb. I'm, you know, there's a, a, a there's a ton of better quarterback prospects than me. So I viewed college as pretty much that would that might be it for me. And I and I treated this past season like it was gonna be my last. And I, and that's looking back on it i'm i'm glad that i did because you really soak up the moment more like mm. there's so many kids in high school nowadays that are just waiting for college or, or, or waiting for that next team waiting for the next level and it's like if you spend so much time looking ahead and you forget to be where your feet are you look back and you regret those moments mm. of like man i really wish i would have took that in um but sorry back to your back to your question whenever i uh actually got reached out on instagram dms and uh the first team that hit, hit, that reached out to me was from italy and uh and i and i talked to my wife about it and she was like all in you know she's like oh my gosh this would italy, be amazing yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly right <laughs> when and, is uh, like, florence <laughs> <laughs> exactly i think it was two days ago when i was driving through <laughs> south tyrol yeah. like the most northern part of italy yeah. and i was like imagine telling someone you live in italy and, and everybody you're... expects you're on the beach or yeah, in yeah. rome or whatever and then you're, the and then you're like <laughs> in these alps where everything looks like it's 18, 1830 or something <laughs> yeah exactly yeah so that was uh <laughs> that is hilarious um anyway so they reached out and talked to them a little bit um and and then Uh, coach coach bauer uh messaged me but i'm never really on instagram I, I'm, i'm i'm really horrible at keeping up with my messages and it was in my requests and uh my wife actually told me she said hey uh some 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 coach liked uh one of the pictures that she like we collaborated in so it, it looked like my pictures like some some coach from australia <laughs> liked one of your pictures and i was like and i was like australia i'm like ah, that's, that's probably just too far so i look up innsbruck australia because yeah. i go look at his yeah. message and whenever <laughs> i read it since i was thinking australia my u.s mind changed it every single time because he said it once or twice <laughs> so i look it up i'm like innsbruck australia doesn't even exist i'm like this is a scam <laughs> and i was about to message him back and then like something told me to like look that up again maybe you had a typo and I, yeah. as i was typing innsbruck it said austria yeah. and i was like that makes more sense clicked on it i'm like i'm like barb like this is in austria this is like the sound of music plays like this is not that salzburg but whatever yeah. but i'm like the mountains and stuff yeah. and uh and and she was freaking out she's like oh this is this is amazing you know so i met, messaged coach back and got on a video call and um and then we actually got to start talking ball which is the important stuff mm -hmm. you know where you're playing is awesome and obviously this is a great place to live but at, at, at the end of the day you, you want your relationship with your with your um offense coordinator head coach to be rock solid you have to have the the, the, the same views on things mm -hmm. or else the whole season is just gonna be this and you you learned ball. that probably on the hard way by having, <laughs> yeah, having a new oc every year right <laughs> exactly so yes. this relationship but yes you're absolutely right this relationship is super important yes and you are the you are the head coach or the, the oc on the field right and the Definitely. connection needs to needs to work um great and then you came here and you enjoy your time and uh then you a couple of days after you arrived you had the first practice and uh, the camp started and oh yeah max notice it from the last year's <clears throat> camps is tough yeah it is the weekends were tough because <laughs> first camp day was uh, 50 centimeter snow on the field so yeah that was crazy got canceled. Was, it was it this time again this year yeah this yeah. year again. Yeah, first was... day first day of camp was did, against did you guys try to shove it away with the bags again we did the day after did it work out not the first day because oh. it was too uh i guess it was too icy underneath something like that yeah. it just they weren't budging i mean we we had four or five guys behind one of those step over bags the biggest lineman and we couldn't <laughs> get it to move an inch and then coach was like keep trying <laughs> we're like, we're i mean trying, it's, it's still practice absolutely like, <laughs> but uh yeah we we're all we we're all sore and yeah. i was 
uh, that that following practice because uh, the sun was up the whole day and it melted it just a little bit, just just enough to where the ground wasn't as frozen and uh, and then actually worked pretty well. I was definitely sore. Like it was weird to be sore, <laughs> like in my quads from pushing a back. <laughs> like I'm a quarterback, man. It's supposed to be dropping back. <laughs> but <laughs> after that, um, weather changed, and you guys had uh, two and a half great camps and. With a scrimmage game yesterday against um, the Zurich Dude. Renegades, mm -hmm. and we just got a question coming in: How did the preparation went? This is from me and from from the chat. It is like, how is the chemistry in the team after these three and a half, four weeks of being together as a team, working together in preparation? So, how was preparation, and how is the mood of the team? Yeah, the, the preparation's been been really good. Uh, Coach Coach Bauer does a really good job of um, analyzing the stuff that we've done, and because Huddle's got all these new tools with mm -hmm. seeing the percentages of com completion percentages, yards. Um, there's there's one button that you can just look for the uh, how efficient the play was, and you can see okay, yes or no, was it efficient? Mm -hmm. And he looks through, and if it's a, a concept that he really loves, it was his baby, but it, it's just not working. He's like, all right, and 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 we talk about it, and I'm like, yeah, it's just not working. And he's like, okay, and it hurts both of us because mm -hmm. we really love the play and we think it should work, but we have no problem scratching it because if it's not working now, it's probably why waste more reps on it. Let's let's try to get something else in. So as far as preparation goes, coach does a really good job of uh, looking at things that are that are that are working and uh, keeping those, and then cutting the stuff that just isn't isn't clicking. Uh, so it's 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 helped us trim down some of the install. Uh, and then be able to add stuff that we thought that we weren't gonna be able to install until week three, four, five, whenever we have a, a, a bye week. Um, but now it's like we have a lot of good stuff in as far as preparation. And then the second part was about chemistry. Mm -hmm. As far as chemistry goes, it's been it's been really good. This is for me. This is the fastest that I've ever had to go into a season. Mm -hmm. And I knew that chemistry would be a big deal um, because, uh, especially for inside receivers, outside receivers, you know, having these crossing routes and stuff where you want to sit it down and I have to read his body language. If he shows me his chest, is he going to slow down or is he just trying to get by somebody? So it's like the first couple of practices were hard trying to throw routes that are off of timing. And I, and I don't know, is that guy breaking? Is he dropping his hips? It's because you have to, but luckily we've had so many practices with, within the short amount of time, especially with camp. It's like so much football in such a short, short mm -hmm. amount of time that it speeds up that process a ton and then you're watching film and you're going right back out to practice and you're fixing it immediately and it's helped the chemistry really build and then as far as off the field chemistry i think is almost just as important especially with like the offensive line um i, I think that a quarterback offensive line relationship is a really uh important part of the game because if they like me then they're going to want to protect me and if they don't like me then obviously <laughs> they might let one go <laughs> no, but uh so i just try to be a good guy and uh and i think it's been good you know we've we went and got burgers after one of the camps and then we had the rookie show uh oh, what was that this past weekend it was pretty awesome okay well, don't don't say that yeah. you know what happens at the you can show? tell us when yeah. the when, when the, the cameras, cameras are for sure <laughs> yeah for sure but uh but yeah what happens there stays there for sure <laughs> It was some wild stuff, <laughs> but it was awesome. There's always wild stuff. And we've yeah. seen our fair share of crazy yeah. <laughs> in that Yeah, but show. let's talk about it when the mic's off. Yeah, um, <laughs> so, um So you like it. That's good. Uh, the team, uh, the preparation went good. The chemistry is good. So um, <clears throat> it's game week and we play the Rangers. Nothing uh, or everything looks good for the moment. Absolutely. Everything's looking really good. The Rangers, Max, you played them as a coach the last years. Uh, yes. Tell us a little bit about them. You know, I think I, I really can't say an, a, a lot about it because obviously they are also a young, a young team. Um, Vienna is also like a hotspot where talent usually goes, to, from, the yeah. Or uh, goes to the ELF. Yeah, or, so they are a young team. Last year they played with a local quarterback. Um, I guess they're probably gonna, not going to do that anymore. No. Nope. See? Told ben, you. Benji Boy is a coach now. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, cool. Uh, yeah. Um, so they're obviously playing with a new quarterback. So hard to prepare for it defensively. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Other than that, I really can't say yeah, anything no. about them. It, this is also what I wanted to say. The Rangers are for me also, also since black I box. played. Not a black box, but a surprised, surprisingly team. Surprise team? What is, yeah. You know what I mean. It, they were different every year, you know? And, and That's true. Like you said, they lose 
couple players from year to year to to the ELF or to the Vikings and um but they know what they're doing. They can play football and they, they signed a really good linebacker, Cooper from 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 the United States. He he played also in the ELF for Frankfurt two years ago. So experienced guy on the defensive side and um offensively, like you said, a new quarterback who knows what's coming. Um I think um yeah, it's gonna be a great game. It's three PM at the football center. If you don't get your tickets now, uh, do it now. Go to tickets raiders.at and buy your tickets to the game and watch Kaysen and the boys playing uh it's gonna be great max are you gonna be there yes and maybe i'm gonna buy a shirt or something because paul you're obviously also gonna be there i'm gonna be there too and um the difference is i'm probably gonna enjoy a coffee and you unfortunately and I'm have selling to work. t-shirts <laughs> but i maybe I'm, i can bring you a coffee or two that's great <laughs> thanks max <laughs> no but um first game i think everybody's hyped up in the organization in the office um we we want to we want to see you guys playing and i think a lot of people are going to come weather going to be nice 3 a.m perfect uh, 3 p.m 3 a.m would be crazy <laughs> 3 p.m um at the football centrum and um you can also watch it live there's going to be the stream we're going to um post that in the next days but being in the stadium stadium is much better and um yeah Kaysen, let's talk a little bit about your expectations and goals for the season and uh, then we come you know, closely to the end of today all right uh so obviously everyone's expectation who's wants to be great is to win and uh that's that's my number one expectation uh a lot of guys focus on stats and focus on you know flash and flair but I really could not care less as long as we win a game. That's uh, the number one stat that matters at the end of the day is whenever you look at our record. So going into the games is uh, just prepare to win. That's my goal. And then also not to just, – just like I was talking about er, – er, er, stuttering. I'm getting juiced. All good. All good. All good. <laughs> just, just like I was talking about it's earlier. It's been a long day. You've yeah. been to the sauna. <laughs> yeah. so. I sweated out all my – That brings me to yeah. stutter when I go to the sauna. Right, Max? <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, just like I was saying earlier is to uh, be where your feet are. So week one, don't think about, oh, let, we're going to be so good. You know, we just came off of a scrimmage where I feel like we executed pretty well. Um, I can't think about, oh, man, look at us. We're going to be this. Like, don't don't read your own, you know, press clippings and focus on the task at hand and take it week by week and win every week. That's my that's my goal. Perfect. And if this happens, we're going to win the Austin Bowl, right? Or the team is going to be successful. That is. That will Day happen. by day, yes. week by week. Um, yeah. Absolutely. End goal is to win the bowl. Yes. Of course. I mean, <laughs> if, if you not, you don't do it, right? Exactly. You don't do for it, sure. right? It's the goal for, sure. for everybody. And everybody on the other team is going to say the same. And um, yeah, everybody works hard for that. And on Saturday, season starts and um, it's going to be a great season. Absolutely. But there's also something great the next weekend. The Cheerleader Championship in Vienna. The International <coughs> Cheer Masters, ECM, are happening in Vienna. And I heard, I think, three buses of athletes from the Raiders are going there. Dance teams and cheer teams are traveling to Vienna to have a great, great competition. And um, we also going to announce the time schedule, the information about the teams and some inside statements of our heads of cheerleading and dance in the next day so keep following us on our social media challenge uh, to be up to date about this championship and everything around the Raiders and we wish all the girls there um, just the best and bring us back some gold medals Max is really close to the because Max's wife is a former cheer dancer yeah she's actually gonna be at the at the, she's still at the event yeah 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 she's she's coaching like the, the little ones the little ones awesome. um but she's gonna be there to help out because at, at, the, at the moment she's gonna be near Vienna anyway so she uses that weekend to be there so I can watch the game here because yes. <laughs> she's in Vienna at the yes. yeah um, yeah so that's it for the for the week we're gonna announce some great news in the next days and we forgot got, something um, and I got two notes from Ricardo who's actually now to my right side and not behind the camera anymore the first was the new league is called UFL the United Football League okay so if you got it if we got it wrong uh, I sorry. said USFL so my bad uh, and sorry sorry second, to my big brother. That's on me, guys. That's not on you. And the second note is um, Yeah. 
And tomorrow we're going to announce the next ELF American import. And there's still something that we didn't talk about. What? Uh, basketball playoffs. Oh my God, I forgot it. I was at the game and I forgot <laughs> it. Basketball playoffs. We are in the playoffs against um, um, the Udewe Alligators and lost game one by 20 two weeks ago. Yeah. Or one and a half weeks ago. But on Saturday, we had a great, great, great fight in the fourth quarter. Came back from a minus eight and at the end won it by 10, I think. And uh, now we going to play game three next Saturday in Deutsch Wagram. So if you're not going to the International Cheermasters in Vienna, or if you're not in Innsbruck for the AFL game against the Rangers, you need to go to Deutsch Wagram and watch our basketball guys playing their third and most important game of the season. Because if they lose it... Oh, is it best of three? It's best of three. Okay. If they lose it, season over. But uh, after this fourth quarter, I think the momentum is on our side. And, and uh, Let's go. we... We're going to win that and then we're going to move on to the semi-finals. So, yeah, thanks, Max, for reminding me. A lot is going on and... Um, yeah, it's been 84 years, so... That was, that was a joke from Titanic. Uh, okay, Just, sorry. <laughs> but it's been it's a long good. time. No, it's, <laughs> it's been a long time. So. It's good because you got asked to make a joke and now... Really? You, yeah, yeah. I oh, forgot. Yeah. I, we have to find... Next week, we're going to have a solution where we see the chat again. It was not working the way I was thought it works. Um See, if I don't know that I'm supposed to make exactly. a joke, maybe that's why we should get rid of this dumb button anyway. <laughs> you said, hey, I'm a funny guy. I can tell you guys jokes if you ask me to do so. I didn't do that. <laughs> you did. I will find it. It was in episode 84. Yeah. Minute 37. You go find uh, that. that. You know, I have a elephant mind. Yeah. <laughs> elephant brain. <laughs> Oh, thanks, yes. Ricardo. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Kason, thank you, thank you, thank you for for being in the show, for sharing all your your ideas, your or your ideas, your your story of uh, football p life, your Absolutely. thoughts about uh, Austria and uh, Australia. Absolutely. And Australia. <laughs> when is your birthday? <laughs> uh, my birthday is July twenty third, nineteen ninety nine. July he's gonna 23rd, remember that uh, forever 20... since he's an elephant. Oh yeah, there you go. No, July twenty third is is a week before the Austin Bowl, I think. So, so if we go to the Austin Bowl and for your birthday, there is a T-shirt I think where it says right, not Australia, with the kangaroo. Like uh, there's there, there's there probably something? plenty of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because you no, know, it got really like <laughs> Austria is not small. It's smaller than other countries so it's not that known as australia yeah. and a lot of people from around the world think austria is australia so it happened to me too when i went to asia and i said i'm from austria people say oh australia then yeah, no then austria austria <laughs> australia about, and it's talk not about kangaroos yeah. and, and another shrimp on the barbie <laughs> and you're like no <laughs> no i'm from the mountains <laughs> yeah exactly so um last category of the day uh, it's the song of the day and um we start with you Casey, song what is the, the song of the day we put on our playlist and if you don't follow our playlist yet do it type in exclamation mark um spotify and follow the best playlist on earth with the best songs ever awesome and here's another one from Casey. awesome so this one uh this is what i've been listening to every morning basically uh it's called praise it's by elevation worship um i'm a i'm a spiritual guy and uh it's it's a song that uh, that that motivates you to um, look past whatever circumstances that you're going through that 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 may be hard, and uh, to think about no matter what my circumstance is, I'm I'm going to praise the Lord because uh, that's my own personal beliefs, and that's what I think is uh, keeps me going on a regular basis. Great. So praise by Elevation Worship. Elevation Worship. It's on Spotify. Yes, yeah. yes, it is. Great. Max, what's your song of the day? <laughs> yeah, I, I wish I had something uh, <laughs> polar up remo song. remote. Now you can't take something with devil. That no, not no work. That's, that's why I had to... Uh, I change it. No, uh, I wish I had something as motivational, but yeah, it's it's still pretty nice, I guess. <laughs> uh, regulate from Warren G and, and Nate Dogg. Yeah. You, know that, you know that song, Classic. right? Classic, yeah. yeah. And I to take beautiful things from Benson Boone. He, I think, won uh, American Idol or something. Oh, really? It's a great song. You have to list beautiful things. Really, really good song. Um, and that's it. 
that's it for today thank you for watching um thank you for um yeah being active in the chat we i i tried to read it a little bit and thanks for tuning in thanks for all your support and we're gonna be live now regularly again every every monday and next week hopefully with a w from the afl game Absolutely. And um, Max, thank you for joining. Yeah, thank you too. Kaysen, thank you. And yeah, thank uh, you. Last words to the audience. We start with you. Into the camera. Last words. If you're in town, come to the game. Let's go. <laughs> Max, your last words. If you're in town, come to the sauna and then to the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And if you want to see Kaysen in the sauna, ask him in which sauna he's going. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you. No, we're not going to tell So, um... Yeah, have a nice evening. Go to the sauna and enjoy enjoy life. And um, thanks for, for tuning in. Thanks for your support. See you next Monday in the show or live in the stadium on Saturday. Macht's es gut. See you later. Ciao, Kakao. <laughs>